Welcome back. I've decided I'm gonna do shorter videos on KMK and adding little features so that you can kind of sift through it and hopefully they're independent of one another and you can find the videos you need and just add the stuff that you need. Today, I am going to add RGB LEDs, underglow NeoPixels to my uh, Pico-powered numpad. So let's not waste too much time and let's dive into the hardware changes first. Uh, first up, I have this eight pixel stick from Autofruit. It is RGBW, so red, green, blue, and white. I am going to help go ahead and install that with ground going to ground, five volts going to the bus, and uh, the D in or data in going to pin 22. The reason I chose pin 22 is because it is close to the ground and five volt pin um, on the Pico. You can use whatever key or whatever pin you're not using. So with that installed and ready, I am going to go ahead and jump over into the code. Before we dive into the code, we do need to head over to Autofruit's GitHub, download their NeoPixel library, and copy the neopixel.mpy file onto our Pico. So here we are in the code that we ended with last time, or probably very similar to what we ended with last time. One very critical thing about the RGBW LEDs, and probably the RGB LEDs, is you do need to update KMK. So with the boring stuff out of the way, let's go to some more boring stuff, which is code. As with layers, we need to import something to be able to use it. Um, luckily, KMK knows what we're gonna do, so we just have to tell it where to look. We are just gonna go ahead and import the RGB library so that we can use it. And now below the, where we set up the layers. So now down here, I'm gonna go ahead and create the RGB. So I'm just gonna create RGB equals capital RGB. And this is creating an instance of that RGB um, extension we're using. You don't really have to know all the technical terms. Just know that we're gonna be re using the same thing. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a pixel pin. And this is the pin that you you connected your uh, LEDs to. I used pin 22 on the Pico, so I'm using board dot 22 or board GP 22 um, as my pixel pin um, for my number of pixels. Num pixels. I have eight because it's a stick with eight on it, and I am going to include another parameter called RGB order. This is probably not critical for a lot of applications, but for me, because I'm using the RGBW LEDs, it is. I need to tell the Pico what order the LEDs are in. And for me, it's 1, 0, 2, 3. If you do not have white LEDs, but you are getting the wrong colors, it is likely something to do with your RGB order. Um, if you don't have white at all, you can leave off this three here. You don't need that. If you have RGBW, you want to include the three. If you're getting the wrong colors, you can try and figure out the correct order. And we now need to just give this to the keyboard. There we go. We should have RGB LEDs connected to our numpad. We do want a way to control them though. So you could stop here and your RGBs will probably work. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a new layer to control things like animations, color, animation speed, and turning them off entirely. So I'm going to go ahead down below all our helper keys from last time, and I'm going to create a new one called LED. And it's going to be pretty much the same as the other ones. There we go. We're replacing the left shift key here with LEDs, or LED, sorry. And now we need to go ahead and create our new layer. And I already have an existing layer, so I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste it in. There we go. And I've pasted it in layer two, which is going to control all of our LEDs. So uh, just a quick rundown of what these are. Um, all of these ones over here on the left, they are just different animations. Same with these two down here, swirl and night. Um, toggle, turn them on and off. And then all of these ones over here change 
values of the LEDs. So this first one changes the animation speed, which if you're using the breathing animation, you can speed it up, slow it down. Um, you can change the saturation of the LED. You can change the hue. This one will change the color. So um, I use it to usually try and set mine to purple because I like purple. Um, and then this one down here is the value. This changes the brightness. So that is kind of the rundown of the code changes. I'm going to go ahead and hit control S and we should see the RGB on the LED or we should see the LEDs on the Pico turn red. There they go. And I'm going to go ahead and press the key that I've set the macro to or to the layer shift to. And I'm going to go ahead first, turn them on, turn them off. There we go. I'm going to change to the breathing animation, which is the four key on mine. And then I'm going to increase the speed so it's faster. So it's, you can tell it's doing something. There we go. And now I am going to change the color. So let's change the color. There we go. That's kind of a good, a good color. The breathing animation running. There's also the and breathing rainbow. Let's go ahead and slow that down just because I feel like it'll look better. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Um, and let's try swirl. Okay, that's what I've got for you today. Um, I hope that this was useful. Um, if you have uh, something in KMK you want to see me mess around with or, or get working on this uh, numpad, let me know. Leave a comment, like the video, subscribe. Um, I promise I will get back to building something that's not KMK focused, but that's just where my brain's been the last few weeks. So <laughs> that's what you get. Um, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.